I don't ever hear people talk about uh, Lacticarium um, trip report or a wild lettuce trip report. Um, I guess I hear people talk about the medicinal effects, they eat it, <clears throat> but what I do is I make an alcohol extract and I have a water extract and I mix the two together and they, they both look similar, like black tars, but I mix the two together and then I mix it with weed and I smoke it out of a dry bong. <clears throat> Best way to do it, in my opinion. Um, what I mean by dry is no water in it, but I just had one of the deepest experiences with wild lettuce or lacticarium that I've ever had. Um, it was very, uh, like I'm still on it, as you could tell, but like I'm here. What's so crazy is it took five minutes for the effects to kick in. And then on top of taking five minutes for the effects to kick in, let me see if I can get up. Instead of, <clears throat> so after five minutes, um, I started getting like where I wanted to lay back. So I laid back. It wasn't like I, I it was forced me to. It was just like, oh, I just wanted to lay back. And I had some music playing, closed my eyes. First feeling I noticed was in my thighs. They started like feeling nice and fuzzy, like, like, like tingly but fuzzy, and like that spread throughout my whole body. And it started it was like flushing, but then eventually just kind of spread, and like I kind of like ended up just almost lifting off the bed in a way. It was a very dissociative type thing because I felt out of my body. I felt like I wasn't. I was laying here, but it felt like, like I was listening to the music, but it felt like I was starting to rise up to the point where the music starting to feel like it was below me. And the fuzzy feeling turned into fuzzy visuals. Like, I would see this, uh, it was a colorful, geometrical pattern, but fuzzy. It looked just like, fuzz but fuzz started forming into like triangle looking things and I started feeling like like there was points where I was so dissociated so I'd open my eyes and it would look like my hand was like chop I don't know sometimes I'd look at the door and the door would look more turned or the world would look more turned or something and I, I just it's so hard to explain. It's starting to go away now. The only feeling I feel now is like, I feel this like, you can say like an opioid type feeling, but it's not an opioid. It does not attach to the opioid receptors whatsoever. I think there's sesquiterpenes in, in there. I think that's what it is. And it's kind of weird that they would have this much of a psychoactive effect, but the effects of wild lettuce, I feel like, are very, just, a lot of people just use it for pain relief, right? I use all plants for shamanic usage, meaning I'm looking to meet the soul of the plant. <clears throat> I'm looking to see what it has to offer me, wisdom, knowledge, information, uh, connection. I want to gain a relationship with the plant, and... That thing showed me that, like, I've had visuals off Wild Lettuce before. Because that colorful TV fuzz pattern thing, when I closed my eyes and put the blanket over my head, I could see it much more clear. And it, it was like, it was interesting. It was very, it was just very interesting. Reminded me of, like, closed eye visuals I'd get off of, like, one hit of LSD. But a little bit different, obviously. But, like, <clears throat> more fuzzy. Like, this was more fuzzy and more, like, I. there was times I felt like I was out of my body. I remember there was even a time where I thought to myself, I could, uh, like, maybe I'm dying, right? And then it kicked into myself that this, all plants have a shamanic, I can't say all plants, but, what I look for in plants 
is that shamanic dose. That dose that makes you think you took too much. The dose that scares you. That's what I'm looking for. And I think that's why I say I don't... Like, I don't use these things for the same reason a lot of other people use these things. Like, a lot of people think I just do drugs, right? The only thing I use to kind of... That way is cannabis. But even cannabis. I like to smoke to the point of anxiety. Because then I know I'm really high. And I like to push my push myself with these plants because one I know that lacticarium is safe enough for me to smoke the way I did so the thought of me thinking I was dying because I felt so dissociated from my body and colors started happening I started opening my eyes and the wall looked like it was fluctuating in color and the fuzz was it was just so at some point I thought to myself damn maybe I'm dying Right? Why am I having visuals similar to like a tryptamine psychedelic when I know there's no tryptamine alkaloid in there, but there might be tropane alkaloids in, in the lacticarium. And, be, and there's not enough research on it, but because of that, that could explain maybe some of the more psychoactive effects, but, or maybe one of the sesquiterpenes really is powerful. Like, all I know is... That thing was very powerful. Right now, as I'm talking to you over the past six minutes, almost seven minutes, I've started to come down more and more. I'm able to speak more and more, and I feel like I'm starting to speed up and wake up in a way. But, like, I might try that again in a little bit because that was really interesting. But I guess what I'm saying is the reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to put my shamanic perspective and my shamanic perspective is if you want a shamanic experience with the plant, it's set and setting. Make sure your intention is you want to use it shamanically. Make sure your intention, you know, I like to do these things alone or with a trip sitter. My girl is right next to me. So if I was something bad was to happen, you know, she was right there, but like just, I like to take these things with the intentions to see what it has to offer me. And I like to give myself over to the experience and let the experience run its course. And then I report on it. But, yeah.